You've become kind of famous. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I have traveled to many places around the world, but I have been to few that feel as magical to me as Dunyas, a restaurant high in the mountains of the Greek island of Crete. Here the food couldn't be any more local and is the best example I have found of the authentic Mediterranean diet. The Mediterranean diet is often called the healthiest way of eating in the world, and Crete is one of the healthiest places in the Mediterranean. Dunyas is arguably one of the healthiest restaurants in the world. Stelios, the owner, does not call his restaurant a restaurant. He calls it a farm. The food is a farm. Everything comes from here. Yeah. These are the uh, mint. cleaners. Original mint. Mm. Fascomilo. Fascomilo. Mm. Stelios is more than just a farmer, though. He is a teacher and a healer. He teaches and heals with the food he grows and cooks. His recipes are those passed down through generations of ancestors. Stelios here is lighting the wooden oven. Good bread. The, the, and make the bread the way we used to, we always did in Crete, cooking slow food with fire and all. The best way to cook. Original wheat named Mavragani, soft and hard. Basil named Kuduraki, Harup and Sikali. Bureki, ah. potatoes, cheese, zucchini, cheese, asparagus, avronies, mm. liver, broccolini, cauliflower, and after the fresh milk side. Now, enough. And meat pie. Meat, meat pie? pie? Yes. So everything here comes from your land? Yes. Everything? Wow. Olive oil? Organic oil. Organic olive oil? All, all people speak good is good, but... Yeah. Oh, they do it by hand? Of course. Wow. Are the animals all grass-fed, herb-fed? Of course. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's sheep, lamb, fresh milk, every day now. This is the truest Mediterranean diet everything organic, local, fresh, and grass-fed. Even though meat is featured in the clay pots at the front of the restaurant, vegetables, beans, and olive oil are the mainstay of the cuisine here. Cow. Cow, garlic, onion. 43 kilos biologic pork after pressoran. Mountain goat, three mm. year goat. How long did these cook for? Uh, two hour, two hour. Uh, Three, four hours. Okay. Three, four hours. Come here, Chuck. You were a farmer before? Yes, all family farmer. Oil, uh, walnut, grapes, sika, uh, fig, figs. figs, pears, and uh, grapes, stafili, wine. Grapes. To give all these products to other people. Mm. And they made money. And then she decided that why give them to other people? I want to sell them. Do people cook the all? Why? Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Why? Mm -hmm. Avronias. It. It. Traditional. They're very, very old. <laughs> the first time I met Stelios, he asked me if I wanted tea. When I said yes, he brought me outside his restaurant, handpicked a handful of healing herbs, which he then brewed into a tea. As you can see, mountain goats aren't the only creature that can climb the craggy mountains in Crete. This time, Stelios is climbing to pick some wild edible greens for us to try. Two different asparagus. One. Mm -hmm. And a curved, Two. curved one. Got it. Eat, eat, eat. The asparagus is good for your uh, stomach. Yeah. 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 So your, your, you might need to translate this, your, uh, your goal here is to really uh, have everything from the land. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Name Saras. Saras. So these are, there's only 26 of these cows in the world? Yes. And are these all 26? Yes. Or you have them all? Yes. His name is the father or... Name 
named Grizos. Grizos? <laughs> Number one, boss. Ah. His plan is to have more in all of Crete. Mm. So it can become again the old uh, breed of these cows, these Minoan cows. And does he use them for milk and meat? Τα χρησιμοποιείς και για το γάλα και για το κρέας. Βγάζουνε πολύ λιγότερο γάλα, αλλά πάρα πολλά λιπαρά. Three or four gives him milk, and he's, he mixes that milk with other milks, like from lambs and goats and all. And uh, he makes a, a type of cheese called zelokumbi, which is an old variety of cheese actually from Crete. And she keeps that uh, good uh, the old way. My parents used to do that. They put it in barrels of olive oil, mm. inside the olive oil. And that's the way they keep it for a long time, even two years. In Crete, we have two varieties of olive trees, as you probably know from before. Uh, the very small, tiny olives, which is called Coronaki, and Tsunati, which is the very, the big olives. Mm. Animal shares six months. Mm. After, go the mountain. Ah. It shares two, mm -hmm. people is look, three, four uh, lambs, two goat, and after all animals, the mountain. And who watches the, the animals in the mountain? Just the process of the <laughs> yeah, <it's not> okay. <laughs> they live on their own. Everything is a little less rushed in Dunyas. At one point during our tour of the farm, I was worried that we were taking too much of Stelios' time. He stopped and came up to me and told me not to worry. It made me take a deep breath. Thank you. Martha <laughs> Ginares. Artichokes and fennel. And she has planted, I guess, looks like peppers. Piperies. Piperies and tomatoes. Peppers, tomatoes. Here is Araka. Araka is it? Green peas? Yes, she has <laughs> green peas, yasa. And she puts the seeds, they grow a little bit, and then she plants everything. So they're all from natural seeds, all and the it, vegetables. And things grow year round. Megalola. Uh, no tomatoes in the winter, she doesn't plant that, but almost everything else. Almost everything else. Do you still love what you do? Yes. Yes, he does. Metaferis oti gnorizis sta pedia stinia genia. The important thing he says is that to uh, to leave behind everything, all you know, let's to his children. Uh, Everybody else. Uh, uh, good chicken, uh, understand mm -hmm. different. I understand the difference because I grew up with that. So if I eat a chicken that it grows in 30 days, I know I won't, I'm not going to eat. So you said uh, that you uh, you want to pass this on to your family. Who who passed it on to you? I grew up this way. Mm. Your family. His family, yeah. yes. And is this the same place that your family grew up? Tavern open me. They lived here. They yeah. lived here, but they never had a restaurant. He did yeah. it. Mm. Stelios created this paradise for others, his family, and travelers and students from around the globe. Of course, the best part of the experience is trying the food. Diners eat under a canopy surrounded by the beautiful views of the mountains, the sounds of goats and cicadas and the smell of all the amazing food being cooked in the kitchen below. On this day, Stelius took our order and told us he would serve us a little of everything. This is the bread that just came out of the oven, the bread that we just were watching get put in the oven. And uh, I think we should eat it while it's still nice and warm. And there's uh, olive oil and uh, looks like different herbs and olives. Still steaming. Look at that. Mm. Our first dish is a traditional Cretan salad with soft cheese, pomegranate seeds, wild greens, and potatoes drizzled with a pomegranate dressing. It's like the best salad I've ever had. Tatsiki with Greek yogurt, cucumbers, mint, and garlic is also served. Next comes tender cabbage rolls filled with rice and dill. Yeah. 
you can taste the fresh herbs. Absolutely delicious cabbage, cabbage rolls. Mm. Goat with potatoes and olive oil. It's been cooking in the clay pots all day. Next, we enjoy the wild asparagus topped with olive oil and lemon juice. The cauliflower, potatoes, and pumpkin are out of this world and show how you can make the simplest ingredients taste amazing. Then it's boreki, potatoes baked with cheese and zucchini. Mm. Nothing is wasted in Crete and Stelios honors us by serving us the goat head. We just had some brain. <laughs> we just had some brain. Not bad. I think I like the cheek better. <laughs> we eat and drink until our bellies are full and all our senses are satisfied. For those who are reluctant to try the Mediterranean diet, I would say go to Dunyas or try some of the recipes featured in the link below. Vegetables, olive oil, beans, and cheese can be turned into some of the most incredible, tasty dishes you have ever eaten. Enjoy.